Right folks, there's a big removal lorry there. Now they're emptying the bottom flat down below us. Now that's a single flat. We've got sort of like three single flats and then all the flats above it are uh, sort of like maisonette kind of things. Now that's the trouble with living in ex-council accommodation, which is what I have. And I bought my flat, um, but what you have to do is you still have to pay when the council come around and paint the close. Nonsense, man, it really is. Um, I strongly object to it because you already pay your council tax. Now you pay your council tax, and all you seem to do is get your bin emptied, that's about it. And I'm sure they cut the grass and do all that kind of stuff as well, but it seems a bit unfair. Uh, just because I've bought my place, I have to pay my share for doing the the, uh, the repairs and things. I mean, I suppose it does keep the clothes nice and everything, but um, you know, they sealed my, my cellar door shut with the paint, I had to crowbar it open. So when it comes to paying, I'm going to write a little letter and I'm going to complain, folks. <laughs> yes, I am. So anyway, they're moving the, um, there's somebody down the bottom who hasn't been there for ages, man, for months and months. It was nice and quiet. Just a single chap. Now he's not been there for ages. So they broke in and they are now just starting to move all the stuff out. Um, so we don't know who we're going to get down the bottom now. We've got some nice, quiet people at the moment and it's good when there's nice, older quiet people see when you get a young one down the stairs oh no it's party central sometimes down there so but hey ho there we go now what day is this it's friday good morning everybody all right folks it's the return off bun of the day yes indeed bun of the day has returned now baines the bakers there it is have got a new product folks and there it is it is a strawberry jam donut with pink icing on it. So there it is, and we're gonna get stuck straight into this. No, no finesse will be spared. We'll just get stuck into this. Here it is. Open the gob, stuck it in. Let's get onto this. Mmm. Mmm. Cup of tea with it as well. Lovely. Mmm, mm. nice and moist, lovely icing on top, plenty of jam, I'll finish it, then I'll get back to you. Oh, well, there we go folks, the bun is finished, demolished in fact, it was lovely, the jam oozed out of it, the, the icing was just perfect, there wasn't too much of it. The actual donut itself was soft and moist and everything just went together really, really nicely. It just, oh, it just went away in about two minutes, man. I demolished that. So, there's nothing else to say, folks, except an unprecedented, it's a 10. It is a 10 out of 10 for Bain's new donut. It's a 10. It's a 10 indeed, folks. Absolutely delicious. I'll be getting that again, I'll tell you. Awesome. Thank you. Well, folks, have made an executive, an executive decision. Yes, we have for tea. We've come here to Burger King for the legendary Whopper meal. I'm just in the mood for something big and steakhousey and yeah, you know. So that's why we're here. The traffic's a nightmare over there, though. Going back on the Kingsway, I think I'll be going back to Cleppington Roadway, man. That traffic looks horrific. It's Friday, you see. Everybody's on flexi time coming home. So yeah, don't fancy that much. Walking fast, walking fast, walking very fast. Walking fast, walking fast, walking very fast. Walking fast, walking fast, walking very fast. Right, folks, so there I've got my I've got my meal. What we'll do is we'll have it. It's quite windy actually, it's just getting a bit buffered here, right? We'll have the uh, the burger and then we'll go for a little look around Maplin. I always like Maplin, they always find something gadgety and you know, kind of thing I like. Hopefully we'll get something something nice and, and cheap and gadgety in there, yes. Well, folks, I must say, that was awesome. The Whopper from Burger King. Burger King, you've upped your game. That was fantastic. The chips, fries, <clears throat> were lovely and crispy on the outside, nice and soft on the middle. Just enough salt. And the burger itself, man, oh my goodness me, the burger was big and juicy and succulent. Enough lettuce and tomato, mayonnaise, mmm. That's two good things about today, that jam donut and a Burger King Whopper. Man, that was awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I was hungry, that probably made me enjoy it even more, but it was so good. Absolutely wonderful. Excuse me. 
Right, now we're going for a little look in Maplin. Right, what did I buy from Maplin, folks? This is what I bought from Maplin. Look, Sky Tracer. Yes, indeed. It's just a thing you ping up into the air and uh, it lights up with a light emitting diode, seemingly. So, a bit of fun with that. Lights up in the dark and everything. Yeah, so it was only £2.49. It was on special offer. So, yes, there we go. So, let's have some fun later on with that. Oh man, I'm stuck in traffic here. The Kleppy Road just outside the Swanee Ponds. Dear, oh dear, I thought I'd get along quicker this way than going the, the King's Road, but it's all clogged up. Oh, we're moving. Nicky, the accounts department for the state agent sign company in Newbury in Berkshire. Uh, this, I like this, we like this. Uh, passing the pig farm on the edge. Board. Still stuck in traffic here. We're getting to the roundabout though. The Kingsway roundabout is almost here, folks. So I've been stuck here for about what? A quarter of an hour? So I suppose for a Friday night, that's not too bad. Oh, we're moving again, folks. We're off. Yes, look at the speed of me here. So we zoom along here and we've stopped again. Right, folks, the time's quarter to five. It eventually got through all that traffic. That was a nightmare, man. But the urge to get the. Uh, the, the steak burger was too much, man, so, but probably shouldn't have gone, because it's a bit of a, look, it's quite tough. I'm not going to go home now for tea, so what I'll do is I've just come here to B&M, and we'll have a little look, um, see what rubbish they've got in, but um, maybe, have this, maybe have a shot of this in the car park, but I think it's a little bit windy, so maybe save that for a less windy time. Okay, let's go into B&M's and waste some time. My goodness, that was a bit of a nightmare. Oh, look at my hair, it's all windy out there. Bit of a nightmare in there, man. Honestly, there's kids screaming and, ah, a woman's card, I was in front of her, a woman's card wouldn't go through the machine because it spent too much and, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Anyway, what did I buy? I bought, wait for it, folks. Yes, and did some Rennie. Yes, for the, uh, you know, when I normally buy Rennie, you buy them in Asda and they're like, you know, six pounds for, a little packet. I've got them for two ninety nine or something. Yeah, forty eight there, and also some antiperspirant, Vaseline Men Active Dry, forty eight hour Pro Derma for zero percent alcohol. There we go. And that was three pounds. What did I spend altogether? Three pounds forty eight, I think. So there we go. Okay. Well, it's quarter past five now, man. So I'm just going to have to kind of go work and kill some time before six o'clock. Right, but if I look, it's a lovely, lovely night, but it's um, it's windy. With the uh, the longer hours now, folks. Hopefully, maybe get out on a Wednesday night now. Get out and just go for a wee stroll somewhere, rather than just sitting in. Yes, indeed. Right, that's it for just now, folks, and possibly for the whole of the vlog. So, thank you for watching today. We will see you again soon.
very soon. In fact, we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now, folks. More stupid driving. Here we go. Look at this. I mean, why? What's the point of this? Oh, jeez, I was going on. Fudge, not far, oh, damn it.